smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video, um, the topic of this video, is basically gonna address um, some things that is bad about this car. Um, I just wanted to address it up front because a lot of you guys who uh, wanna get BMWs always message me saying, is a 328, the 325, the 335, the 330 best? I'm gonna be addressing all the downfalls with the 330i because that's the car I have. I don't wanna say anything for the 328, the 325, or the 335. I notice when I say stuff about other cars, people get upset, they're like, no, that's not the case for me. Everyone has a different case, but with the 330i, with the research I've done, and the car that I have, I'm just gonna be addressing all the problems I'm currently having. Now, if you guys didn't know much about my car and the problems that I had with my car, um, it's quite big. I mean, I probably put a total of my money probably around four grand into repairs, uh, about two grand at the dealership. Actually, probably three grand in repairs. Three grand in repairs. Um, and that was after a year of ownership. And um, I put about one grand of DIYs um, into this car, which probably would have went up to like, God knows, like probably seven or 8,000 at the dealership. This car has given me so many problems, but I'm gonna be addressing the main problems this car has that most other BMWs don't have. And that's the fact that it's a 330i. The 330i, if you guys didn't know, were only made in 2006 for the E90. E90 only released a 330i in 2006. And basically the only difference between this car and the 320 at the time was the intake manifold. It was a stage three intake manifold, which gave it an additional 20 to 30 horsepower. Um, so this car was pushing more horsepower. It was kind of like the the most you can get out of an N52 motor from BMW. But that did lead to a big downfall with my car specifically, and that is the fact that the transmission is very weak. Now the 328 and the 325 have the exact same transmission, and I'm sad to say that the exact same transmission also applies to the 330i. When they made this car, they didn't make an independent transmission for it. it was all for the N52s, all N52s have the same exact transmission, and the cap off for the horsepower for that transmission was very low. It was pretty much where the 328 was at. The 330i was kind of pushing this exact same transmission. If you guys know that the 335 does have a more bulletproof transmission, I'm not saying the 328s or 330is don't have bulletproof transmissions, but um, the 330i was kind of pushing it. With enough research, I realized that the reason why mine started jerking, doing all this erratic shifting, and I noticed that a lot of other people have 330s have the exact same issues. Because whenever I go on forums to talk about jerking transmissions, they happen to have the exact same car. And that is because if you push this car to the fastest to 100 miles per hour, you will um, mess up the solenoids. And that's just that's just the life of this car. I mean, do not push the car. If you drive it like a normal person, if you just drive it zero to 60 real fast, you should be fine. But just a pointer that if you wanna race this thing or if you wanna push it to the maximum amount, of, you know, the limit of this car, you're gonna mess it up because the transmission was never able to hold the full power of this car. Yeah, so the, pretty much my biggest complaint, which I wanted to put in front of the video with the 330i, is the transmission. You will have transmission problems if you drive it like me if you drive it as a teen if you just drive it conservatively you're taking it you know on the highway and taking it from point A to point B you won't have these problems I mean they are avoidable but you're still gonna have the issue and the only way to fix those are placing the solenoids and the and the fluids but that's all extra cost and you know this stuff could all be avoidable if you just didn't get this car in the first place. Now, a lot of issues I'm having with this car as well is leaks. Leaks are very notorious on this car. Um, I have all kinds of engine leaks from the pan, from the top, from the sides, everywhere. Um, like just the gasket of the, the engine is leaking oil. Oil pan gasket from the engine is leaking oil. And I had a valve cover gasket leaking oil. I had the transmission leaking fluids. I had everywhere leaking fluids on this car. I don't know how. It only had, it, When I bought it, it only had 55,000 miles. So I did the inspection after. After I purchased it, which is very dumb. It was just really shocking to see that all this stuff could have got went wrong in a 60,000 mile BMW. I have also another video that shows how getting older cars with low miles is not really the best thing to do because the car has been sitting for a very long period of time. If you guys wanna see that video, make sure you check it out. But getting back to this video, pretty much a lot of leaks are very, very, very common on this car. Transmission problems are very common on this car. And another thing that's very common on this car specifically, and actually, to be honest, not this one specifically, a lot of E90s and E92s is the water pump and thermostat. Those things tend to go out very prematurely. I don't know why, they just, the, even with age, I mean, it doesn't matter how much miles is on it, just over time, since it's an electrical water pump, it just tends to go out. Those things can run you a lot of money. That, that pulled 2K, $2,000 out of my pocket at the dealership. Wish I did it myself, but I did this at the dealership in 
unfortunately. So yeah, th those are very, very, very common to go out on 330i specifically as well. Um, I see a lot of people on the forums literally have um, all kinds of tools to help you do it yourself because of how common this issue is. I mean, you know a problem is pretty severe when there's over like hundreds of people on one forum. And that was the exact same thing with the jerky transmission. There were so many people on the forum and there was a full list of things you can do yourself to fix it. And that's a good thing. I mean, I have to say about this car is that the forums are very extensive and they're very helpful. So if you guys are DIY people yourselves and you don't mind having issues and you're willing to take care of it yourself, you know, there's a lot of information on this car. But to stick back to the video, the title of this video and why you should hate this car is basically um, maintenance. And I'm not going to lie. A lot of people say with 335s, they don't have much maintenance. They just have oil changes. They just have this, this, and that. There's something that I really, really, really hate is when I mention about 330. I always say like, how is your maintenance going on a 335? A lot of you guys have noticed that. Don't lie to me. <laughs> let's let's be real with one another. Some people say, "Oh, I've only had to do oil changes. I have, I have no issues with my 335." That is a lie. I want to be honest with you. That's a, that's an utter bullface lie. Because if I've had over you know 9k in repairs in this car, that's from what BMW. Get your car inspected. You know what? Do that. Get your car inspected by BMW and send me a picture of what they got, what they gave you guys. They gave me a nine thousand dollar repair bill on this car. Um, if you guys saw Simply Car Things' this video, he got similar to like an eight thousand dollar bill, bill repair cost um, of course they're over exaggerating most things but that's the life of it my tensioner they're saying is loose I felt it it's very n unnoticeably loose I mean I really don't think I have to replace that anytime soon but maybe when I hit like 100k miles I will have to replace it the belt tensioner yeah guys but <laughs> the 330i the discontinued it for a reason this car gives you a lot of problems I love it to death because it's the full spec. It's pretty much just like the luxury package of the E90s at the time. And you know, it has everything I pretty much want other than heated seats, it's full package. But at the same time, it has a lot of downfalls and mechanics and maintenance and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so before you ever get this car, guys, make sure you get a full inspection on it. On Craigslist, this car is selling so cheap. You can literally pick this up for around $4,000 with 120,000 miles. It's very cheap and a clean title over that. You can get 328s or 325s for more than that. I mean, the 330s are depreciating the most and that's mainly because of the issues it has with the transmission. It's very common. Um, some of you guys that have the transmissions um, with the 330i not having this issue, but um, it's very common and it could happen to you and it's just not worth the gamble. It's not worth the risk. Stay away from this car. It was the only year they made this car and uh, that's when you know there's, there's a lot of problems with it. They didn't want to deal with it. They didn't want to build a whole new transmission for this car. They were like, screw it. Um, we're just going to go ahead and uh, this is going to be the last year that we're going to make this car. And one last thing, this is the last issue that I, uh, not me personally having this car, but is a very, very big issue with this car, is the bearings. If you have an all-wheel drive 330i, the front bearing, the front struts tend to uh, prematurely go out. I mean, they, they, you know, they start doing some cracking noises, some weird noises. And if you guys want to see a more of a video on that, uh, Justin Beast actually did a DIY on that. Just type in like, I think ball struts or something like that. I'm not sure for an all wheel drive. Um, he had to get those replaced. Very common on 330i's, 330xi's. I mean, not 330i specifically, the 330xi's, but those are all 330i models. Yeah, so those issues are not fun. They're really not fun. Um, <laughs> but those are the things I have to deal with. That's my life, my car. I love it, the car to death. But I mean, those are the issues. I just want to warn you guys before you buy this car um, or anything like that. Pretty much, they're only, they are, I'm not gonna lie. Everything you love, you hate. And there are some things I hate about this car. So after addressing all those topics on things that I hate about this car, I just want to let y'all know that I really, you know, I don't hate the car. I hate things about the car. There's things you love, there's things you hate. And I just felt like making this a separate video for this car specifically because it's a car that I have. I've experienced it. I know what's wrong with it. I've dealt with what's wrong with it. Um, so I'm just basically giving you guys a warning and you know, <laughs> After hearing all this, I bet you guys hate the car too. It's, it's, it's kind of the life of the 330i. It has a lot of issues. I'm not proud to say it. Um, I've done a lot of research and that's just this car. So if you guys have something to counter what I'm saying, let me know down in the comments. But I am I can literally send you guys forms after forms after forms of issues with this car. It's non-stop. So my suggestion is if you're going to go for something that's a non-turbo, an N52, go for a 328. They continue that from 2006 all the way to 2012, I believe, or 2011. 328s or or 335s who want to go with N54 or N55. I would stick away with N52 330i. That's just me. It has a lot of problems. I love the car still. Get an E90. 
love E90s, but specifically the 3.3R in 2006 is a lot of headaches, you know, it's not worth it. Now, before I end this video, guys, um, I noticed that a lot of you guys are not getting my notifications for my videos. If you guys can just take a second and uh, click on that bell for me, that'd be amazing. And at the same time, if you guys are new, smash that like button. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Every two days, a new upload. So, peace out. And remember, stay humble. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby? I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby? I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know, you're all I